It's just super fun to be able to play. I know. I tend to play it on my own in a, on a peaceful world, just because I know I'm not. I'm gonna fuck up hard. I play on peaceful worlds because I hate being attacked all the fucking time. I want to build shit. Oh yeah, same here. Like, even when I poke and prod, I'll do it with like a fucking tank. Oh, did you know that there are nukes in the game now? Oh yes. I've, give me, give me, give me, give I've me, only give read give me, about me. them because they're kind of hard to develop, but. Uh, oh yeah. Well, re understandably so, really. Yeah, but but the usage instructions say best to use inside the car so that you can run away. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, can I just say this one is a lot better than the last one because this one each thing you do leads to the next thing you have to do. Oh, like yeah. uh, we were talking about this. Like during the second and third games, all the um, what are they called? The speedways did that. This is so much better. Yes, I think these, you missed one. these are what you need to light up now. But where do I go? Where? Do, oh. Well, I don't think I'll make it now. I believe you might have missed one. Fug. <laughs> Just one. At least this one. At least this one leads you into like all the other things, which makes it a lot easier to not only play, but a lot easier to play and play fast. And look at that chests. <laughs> chest, chest, which chest one's pulls. bullshit to find? Thank you, game. <laughs> Say, have any of you actually played the Spyro games on Game Boy Advance? No, I haven't. I have heard they were reasonably good, though. I but feel like keep I in mind, I heard. Keep in mind, I heard they were reasonably good back when they came out when I was a kid, and all of my friends were kids, and we were all fucking idiots. So. Take it with a grain of salt. Take it with a giant helping of salt. A giant fucking Here, just have the salt, salt shaker. Just have my salt shaker. In fact, take a look at inside my salt mine. <laughs> <laughs> How about the salt flats on that uh, Star Wars movie? <laughs> oh god, that Star Wars movie has divided the fucking internet and it's beautiful. I so heard it wasn't that all that one great. One how is it that beautiful, I... though? To the left, to the left! It's just there. Uh, <laughs> fog! Son of you, a... You flew straight, straight past it, man. God damn it. I didn't even see it, actually. <laughs> you literally, you hit it the first time. <laughs> I didn't see it. You couldn't it. find it in this one. That's <laughs> fucking <laughs> Fuck this. <laughs> I'll get him this time. <laughs> <laughs> That fairy looks weird. It's it's like it had huge pants or something. <laughs> what? Get off I the gotta fucking see platform. <laughs> I'll give you a frame shot whenever I get to editing. <laughs> just put a frame shot on the screen right now, just to show everybody. Yeah. <laughs> well, I hope there's something to, be fair, to I mean, show. You, <laughs> you found some weird stuff in Spyro games. Like, what the hell was that? Like, you did a whole um, what the hell, a whole video on. Weird shit you found in cutscenes. Fucking uh, Mr. Fistus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mr. Fistus in the background of one of the fucking things. Turn to your left, I believe it is. There it is. Nice placement. God damn it. <laughs> you managed to get it the first time you had to light these things. I can't believe you didn't get it this time. Please, game, please, oh, game. Oh dear, where's game. the last one? Where's the last oh, There it is. Don't be like that. Click, click, click. Don't yes! be like this game. <laughs> Zunkui. Full second to go. I'm out of here. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> Seriously, they are so goddamn. Well, apparently, the mystery of Mr. Okay. Fistus was uh, discovered a whole year ago, and they're just uh, a little behind the times. <laughs> but still, I mean, who the fuck would even think about. Uh, looking over there, because that's not exactly a thing that's easy to notice. <laughs> like in that cutscene in Midday Garden, you, you kind of see that uh, uh, little grayish thing and you're just wondering, huh, what a weird glitch. And you never think about it any more than that. <laughs> but then you pull out this, the cam hack and then you find that it's fucking Mr. Fistus from Spyro 2. 
Well, we think it's Mr. Fistus. He looks remarkably like Mr. Fistus. Where is that chest? I have a key for a chest, but I don't see a chest. I believe... Oh, where was it? Oh, wait, I think I know. It's where the ice cavern is. Because I don't think you've been to the ice cavern yet. Have I not? Huh. Well, where was this place then? Was it this? Interesting. Just down there. Oh, I guess so, but... It leads uh, just down here. That's the ice cavern. Yeah, I haven't been in the ice where cavern, but I... That's not where the thing is. Maybe it's in one of the tents. Where is it? No, because you burned all the tents the last time around. Oh, wait a minute, I think I know. All right, I, you need to go... Oh, what the hell was it? Brain. Don't do this to me, Brain. Was it up there? You need to go... Uh, no, you jump on this, and then jump over to the other side. Where the flat... It might... Oh, wait, no, you wait already went there. What's that Try over there? going... Yeah, it might be in there, or it might be behind the uh, thing, the speedway. Holy shit. Money bags would sure be glad to find this. <laughs> but he's not in this game. Interesting. How Money Bags was only conceived in the second game to be the Jew master that he is. Cha chain. <laughs> no! <laughs> Honestly, I'm surprised they didn't give him a stereotypical Jewish accent in the second game, because they gave seemingly everyone else weird accents. I like how he turns into an Arabian merchant later on. <laughs> oh yeah, in the uh, PS2 games he's an Arabian merchant, that's hilarious. From what I remember actually, he doesn't show up very often after these uh, three games here on PS1. No, he shows, he's a regular character in, I think it's called A Hero's Tale, it's either A Hero's Tale or one of the other ones in the PS2, I can never remember. But he shows up fairly regularly because he's where you buy your... Uh, supplies and your upgrades from. How surprising. <laughs> Buying stuff from money bags. Didn't see that one before. <laughs> you know, speaking of seeing thi things that weren't there before, I recently reinstalled Dark Souls 3 and I'm quite surprised that the performance has improved lately. Word of caution, little one. Wait until you grow big, like me, before charging those large enemies. Okay, that's really helpful. Wait until you grow big, like me. Before charging those large enemies. So, that's basically just a reference to something you should already know by this point in the game. Flame the large enemies, you can't charge them. Well, I guess now we have to wait like 18 years until he grows up, so I'll, I'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't even grow up 18 years later, he just still stays tiny fucking Spyro. I don't think we ever see him as an adult dragon in any of the games. So I guess he's just like some kind of a... Some kind of a... What's the word that I, I often use but don't want to use right now? Not degenerate, because <laughs> that's not exactly what I had in mind. Um, uh, mutated, perhaps? <laughs> like, he's definitely out of the norm. He doesn't seem to grow properly. Very strange. Some big norks up ahead are wearing armor. And in the ice cave, armor can make their feet very slippery. Hmm. What a hint! <laughs> ice can make feet slippery. So can soap and blood. Uh, this level here has the slight annoyance of putting some of the gems on lamp posts, which you cannot see if you're too close. Uh, unless, of course, you move the camera around, but not you're not gonna do that all the time just to see if there's something on a lamp post. It's not exactly something you think about. Whatever, it's not that big of a deal. It doesn't seem to be all of the lampposts either, just some of them. Hmm, that's a little annoying. When they give you sort of super cryptic bullshit. It's like, oh, let's pick five of these 50,000 lamps and then those ones will be the thing. 
Eh, it's not as bad as these ones you could charge. Isn't these the ones you. So the first guy's advice was bullshit charge the large enemies. Well, thanks. Well, you don't charge these because they don't have armor. What's down there? Ah, nothing. See you later. <laughs> well, if you want some cryptic bullshit, try out Fantasia for Sega Genesis. Cryptic bullshit? No thanks. Also, you said those evil, evil words. What? Sega what? Genesis. That's not evil words. Oh, come on! Sega Genesis, those Genesis are evil is words. good. Sega Genesis is good, man. It's just that it so happens that developers kind of suck. <laughs> Especially when it comes to Fantasia. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe oh, that they decided oh, to change the one good. thing that you know from, like, uh, the very beginning of gaming to do to, to something slightly different just to fuck with you. You know how you can kill enemies just by jumping on them, right? Yeah. Well, in Fantasia, you can sort of do that. Or so it seems like at first. You can jump on them and they will die, but you take damage. It, it what the fuck? It feels like something isn't quite right. Well, guess what? Something really wasn't quite right. Because you forgot something. The obvious thing which the developers thought was obvious. You're supposed to hold down while jumping on them. Of course! Like I, It was obvious! Like, how the fuck are you supposed you know, to know that? That mechanic that's used in literally no game ever. Seriously? Yeah, it's used in Link a little bit. Well, Link Zelda a little bit. Well, in other games, they at least have the courtesy of saying you gotta do this to do that. But in Fantasia, no such fucking luck. I don't think they even have a manual. What was the excuse? Was oh, the manual would have been 437,000 pages and 12 do bajillion you, words. Genuinely, do you know what I miss? I miss manuals. I miss the days where you could have a full manual that gave you like interesting tidbits and lore and stuff like that. That I miss manuals so much. I miss the magazines good. you could buy that had like a full complete walkthrough of the game and how to solve literally anything. I still have a magazine that I bought ages and ages ago that has a full walkthrough for Luigi's Mansion, like some wave racer game and Pokemon Snap. I have one for, well I, the only game in there I can remember is Pokemon Yellow. You know, I kind of miss my magazines because they disappeared somewhere, but one of them was from PC Gamer back in the days. And it was quite uh, a collector's item, I should say, because it had probably the only uh, game review which was a 1 out of 10. <laughs> oh god, which one was that? Shade Wrath of Angels. For PC. Oh god! Just that name sounds like it'll be a 1 out of 10 game. I love that fucking review. The guy just went to town on that fucking game. <laughs> Starting from such Wasn't simple it? things as the sword is made out of carton. <laughs> to, <laughs> to some of the more interesting bits like the gameplay is just piece of ass. Not the good kind of ass either. Nice. <laughs> Honest review. Of somebody... Like somebody... I can't even remember who it was. Somebody almost got blacklisted by EA because they reviewed one of the um, Sims 3 DLCs and just ripped it to shreds. And so the uh, guy said, okay, look, you have to do the review and you're only allowed to talk about stuff that's in the review. And so the guy went back, made a review of one of the DLCs, one of the, like, the stuff packs, and literally just listed this pack contains and then every single thing in the pack. That this guy is, is my fucking hero. Mm. Well, on, on a separate topic, speaking of Pokemon games, uh, I found a, an MMO version, which is pretty cool. I just love how the disclaimer says, Oh, uh, BT Dubs, if you own the ROMs needed to play this thing, we do not condone that, but you can also not play without the ROMs, you bastard. Yeah, I love and how they always say that. Field day. I love this shit. I especially love it when you have emulation forums and they're like, we don't support you sharing ROMs. Fuck. 
but here's the thing to play it with. It's like, if you're going to support emulation but not support sharing ROM, so what the fuck, dude? What am I supposed to do? Pull out a fucking cart and stick it in my PC? I would... What are you looking for, anyway? I'm looking for the last few gems. I know some Remember of them... Remember they are the... Some of them are in the chest back in the beginning, but I need a key for that. And I haven't found the key yet. This is actually... I think I know where the key was. You went past it quite a few times. I hope I didn't. <laughs> this is actually where I stopped my practice run a while back. Oh, here it is. Oh, there it is. Not the most cryptic place, but also not the most obvious. <laughs> Alright, now we can go back yeah. to the beginning. Oh, I miss that fucking review for Shade Wrath of Angels. I can't even find it anywhere online nowadays, so it's really a shame. It's also a double shame that I can't record the fucking game because it has Star Force uh, copy protection, which conveniently enough does not allow the game to run on newer systems. Ah. It's not that the game doesn't support the new systems, it's just that the copy protection says, this computer is too new for me. What? Fucking seriously? Yeah. Like, what the fuck? What do you care if it's too new? <laughs> That's so That's stupid. That's fucking hilarious. It's absolutely fucking hilarious. It's unfucking believable too. I I know where the chest is. I ran past it. Should be up through here actually. Am I the only one who likes to run around while holding the square? <laughs> so you can just hop everywhere. I love doing this. It's so stupid. That's efficient. That's efficient to run around and hop. Otherwise, yeah. moving around in games takes ages. It depends there was on a the thing game. a while back that a reviewer that I was listening to said it's like eventually everyone who plays games gradually is like um gradually gets towards kind of this um sense of maximum efficiency. So that's why you have people, even just casual people, who are playing like Ocarina of Time, rolling everywhere because it is slightly faster than walking. Because they're just like, I want to just fucking get to the next stage, and you just roll, 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 roll. And genuinely, the more I play games, the more I'm actually saying, yeah, he's, he, that guy, I had a point. Is the amount of times I've just done stupid stuff. In particular, when it moved, there was a game I played a while back where it was faster to jump while moving than it was to just move, so I just hopped everywhere. Uh, well, this should be all of the worlds here, and they're yep. properly maxed out. Good. So, now we can just go to the next world, and I think we can call it a session for today. Yeah. That went the next remarkably world is, smooth. I believe, oh, that the, was. Uh, magic no frosting. giant crashes, no nothing serious, not a lot of interruptions. It was great. The magic I believe the next world is called world. the Magic Crafters World. Yes, and it's so it's a good world. I love it. Something to look forward to for the next session, then. Definitely. Oh, yeah. We have three more worlds to go. Magic Crafters, I think it's called the Dream Weavers, and then the Beasts. No, wait, the Beasts are first, and then the Dream Weavers. Well, it, it, I'm not a massive fan of the Beasts world. At this rate, I think it will be to the, the game in just two more sessions, then. That will probably beat this game in a single session. Oh, wait, no, two, because you've also got the Nasty Nork world. Oh, yeah. The Gnasty Gnork, All as right. I was so gracefully corrected character. in the beginning. Alright then, let's take a break for now. This was session oh, one you. of Spyro 1. Thanks for watching Spyro everyone, the Dagron. and uh, we'll see you later. Have a good day guys. Bye. Now then, let's see what we can fuck up.